Boom. Wow, that is nice. What a nice API. I can understand why people are getting so excited about it. I'm gonna show you how to use Django Ninja to build a little API. I've just seen the docs and so far it looks much nicer than Django REST framework. Yeah, let's check it out. All right, so this will be a speed run and I will build a little REST API as quickly as possible. Okay, let's go. We've got our environment here, Django Ninja. Let's install it. I guess it's pip install Django Ninja. But let's see, yep. Okay, they've got their usage there. Well, so maybe I'm just going to follow this, but I actually will. But just show you how simple it is. Installing Django, I'll also need to install Django itself. Install Django. Yeah, so maybe this is more of a walkthrough about how I think it's going to be really cool. So now we create, we're in Django here. Our app, should, uh, we need to create a new Django app. So I'll just create a new like normal called core, and then I'll create an app called sim here. And we'll call it sim. It's just my my convention, just my convention. Okay, cool. This is my product, Photon Designer, by the way, if you're interested for generating UI really quickly. But anyway, back to this. So we've installed Django. Django is there, and now we want to create a new API file next to URL. So I guess this is for core. And let's just create it in here. You could put it probably anywhere. Let's just put it here. Mm. Instructions. Okay, no, it should be in your app. Let's put it here in, in our sim app. API.py. I'll just ignore this for the actually I'll just do this quickly. Just set up my default Django um, so that I can post it. There we go. Okay, that, don't worry about that. Okay, so now and I'll just paste this in. It looks very good. I'll create a URLs file here in for sim urls.py and then put this in here and then tidy it up. So this looks like our we need our URLs back in here. Okay, this looks like I can get rid of this. And then I need to go to core and then set our, direct it to our sim app, which I'm just gonna separate slightly differently from this. Include sim URLs, thank you. Autocomplete, save all that and move that. We've just created an API. <clears throat> okay, let's run. This looks very good. Python managed apply run server. Need to define include here in path include run again path is still not include have I made an error here okay I need to get path again um, oh. interesting they they don't include the because uh, that will they will these imports will be in the core by default so I need to add them in here path oh, that requires that okay run again. Great, so, okay, that looks good. And then we, oh, we've called it API. I won't do that, I'll just, that's, okay, and then we have API as our, sl as our slug. API docs, not defined. Do I need to, what am I doing here? Let's try the docs. Ah. Okay, yeah, because we're going to these, so add is required. And so if we go to API add, poof, there we go. Wow, that is really cool. Okay, can we go to these docs? Wow, that is, I don't, how much time is that? So five minutes to go from me not having, not having known anything about Ninja really to trying it out. Poof, that is very cool. Okay, let's go. Let's try it out. What do I need the parameters? Okay, query string. So I need to go something like add. So we'll just copy that. Not in that. Okay, so it will be localhost. Let's add something to the database. Localhost add, and then they have a query string b. A equals two, and then I guess b equals four. And then we need to add the API to this. 
there we go boom <laughs> uh wow that's really cool so okay so this is and let's add a and then i suppose let's add let's add some models just to experiment with this so it's like um let's add something like sample model and the class mod function class models model set up a, a let's just call it a result which would be an integer field like that that's cool and then we in our api in here we'll have another and we just add you don't even need to add a url we just add an mpi and then api and i guess it's post here yep and let's just copy this we'll just see let's see if that works add um let's say We'll call this add, we'll get rid of this previous one. And then this can be show. Show and then show, let's add our models. Models import and then sample model. And then show, we're just gonna have the sample model show all the results, objects. This is what we'll use in a second, so we'll copy that over here. But this, we're just gonna have it show. Um, so results, sample model, objects, all results. We'll probably need to convert these to JSON. Just did this pretty quickly, just like okay, yeah, thank you. That's good. Yeah, I wonder if it will convert the JSON automatically. I don't know. I feeling just the nice feeling I'm getting from Django Ninja so far. I think it will. And results here, which we've created, just give that as a kind of um, verification of the result. Result. What do we call it? Result is fine. Okay, run our migrations. Uh, for me, I've so Python manage pi. Uh, actually, I haven't tagged uh, Python manage pi make migrations. Oh, what have I done here? I need to put a label in. Okay. Installed apps and core settings. We need to actually register the app sim, which I haven't done yet. And go again. There's our model, and then we'll migrate oh, i've misspelled it okay cool you'll see our database pop up there there it is and now let's refresh this there's our new endpoint wow i like this library a lot Oof, it is very nice okay yeah just like that and if we let's create one so we just go to our add endpoint this is a post so we will need to send a post request to it I could do that. Oh, we can use try it out, I guess. Um, parameters. Let's just click trying this out. Let's go like 24, six, execute. Cool. Okay, there's an error here. What is that? I'm not sure. Probably JSON. Yeah, not JSON serializable. Okay, cool. So it didn't do what I was expecting. It didn't actually serialize it. We need to serialize it ourselves because it's returning. Okay, it's returning this, which is not a JSON object. It's a uh, 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 instance. So let's just result. result. Um, so we'll just change this to instance and then instance of that query set and then instance dot result. That's why. Okay, now we run again. 24 plus let's say 10 12 which would be 36 execute boom wow that is nice what a nice api okay now let's show them all we can just try it out here uh did that work oh because it's still requiring um a argument which we don't actually need anymore or what um, that looks fine to me we, okay, I need to refresh because. Okay. Oh, execute. There it is. Oh, this is so nice to use. It is so fast. Yeah, well, that's it. A 10 minute guide to 10 minute speed run using Django Ninja. I will create a little guide with this. I mean, I'm just going over their docs, but yeah, this is just a little demo of how super fast it is vitalik has produced something really well it feels very nice to me i can understand why people are getting so excited about it
cool. I am interested to try this out more and I will post. Oh, yeah, I, I was seeing some really nice auth because auth, yeah, can always be very messy. And I don't really like how Django Rest framework does it. I know it has, to, yeah, it's, it's easy to miss things off. Global authentication and having, yeah, there you go. Just what a nice API. So that's it for the little speed run for Django Ninja. I think it's a really cool tool. <laughs> yeah. Really excited to use it more. If you enjoyed that, feel free to subscribe for more useful Python, Django, and AI-related stuff. Actually, useful AI weekly. All the best to you.